Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. Avtar says, male 40 UK. So I hope you are well. My ex left me a year ago. Well, you're still here then. <laughs> She left a year ago. You should have left a year ago too. Says, uh, <laughs> and I, and although I will never contact her again, how do I forget about her and that feeling of love and loss which I had for her? Well, first of all, why do you want to forget about her? That's part of your life. There's no reason for you to forget about her, but there's every reason for you to move on away from her. <laughs> Because <laughs> if a woman has been with you for a while, and uh, this is about anybody, woman, men, you know, if you are in a relationship, and then one of you or both of you decide to leave the other, well, then why would you still want to be with someone who decided not to be with you? Have some respect for yourself. What's wrong with you? The reason is, is that you're not focusing on her. You're focusing on the pleasure. The pleasure of being with someone, the pleasure of being loved or loving someone, pleasure of getting attention, pleasure of having intimacy, pleasure of being intimate, pleasure of having sex. So all these are what you're focusing rather than the person who was actually instigating or not instigating, avoiding or offering all these goodies that we talked about. And if you do focus on the person, you will see that this person very person that you associate her with your intimacy, the love and the attention and the sex and all that is not there, is not offering any of those. It did offer a one time. It was instrumental in you feeling what you said you love to feel, but not anymore. So why do you still want to be with someone who is not offering you the things that you're seeking and used to offer you, but not now? Because you're only going about the memory of the pleasure you had with her, not her. So you need to focus on the fact that it was a person. It wasn't working. You guys tried, obviously, to fix things. It didn't work. And that entity has now left your life, which you have an opening, an opportunity to continue your life, to find somebody else who will offer you all that attention, love, intimacy, and so on and so forth. So... Your problem, the reason you can't necessarily, you think you got to forget about her, but in fact, it's just about moving on. The reason that you're not moving on, because you're stuck on that memory that made you feel good then, and it still makes you feel good, because when you think about things that were making you feeling good in your memory, the brain doesn't understand that this is a memory, <laughs> this doesn't exist. It still gets high on that pleasure, and then craves that, and the more you think about it through neuroplasticity, the more you learn that you want to think about it because it makes you feel good when you think about it. But every time you come out of it, you don't feel good, which is the real world, the actuality. And since you're not making an effort to turn the actuality into something pleasurable, something wonderful, as you hope for and you plan to, then you keep wanting to go back into the memory and you won't move on to actually create and build a new life for yourself. So what you need to do is to understand you don't want her. You want the pleasure stuff. You want the intimacy. You want the attention. You want the love. Fine. These are all good. But you don't want her. You want these things. And these things and her are two different things at this moment. It used to be getting all these things through this person but no longer, but you still want these things, but this person who was giving it to you is not giving it to you, but you still think she does because you're focused on the pleasure of once you guys were lovey-dovey. You need to separate the pleasure and the things that you want from this person who's no longer instigating it, facilitating it, offering it, and open your eyes and go after finding someone who will give you all these things. These things that you want are not synonymous, are not automatically offered by someone that you used to be with. Because if it was, that person would not be called used to be with. Well, that person would still be with you. Because she's not, is because she's not 
offering these things. That's why you guys are not together. Neither one of you, or at least her, in this case, is not offering you the stuff that you're looking for. And if that's the case, and you want the stuff that you're looking for, then what good is her to you? If this person that you're seeking obviously is not offering you the stuff that you're looking for, the pleasure, the intimacy, the love, attention, why do you want her? So what you really want and mixing up with her being the source of it is the stuff, attention, pleasure, love, lust, intimacy. So separate them. They're not the same. They were at one time, but no longer. So open your eyes, come to the actuality of life, stop going into the memory to get that high of the feeling of intimacy and the memory and the love and lust and attention. That's a memory in non-existence. But brain, since it cannot tell the difference between virtuality and actuality, keeps going in there to get high. I want you to wean off of it, wean the brain off of that shit, Come out in the reality and make efforts to meet new women, all amazing and qualified to build something uh, together, get to know each other, appreciate each other, see if you guys accept each other for what you have to offer and what you expect to receive, and then build on that. And then you will be fine. All right. Subscribe on my channel. Visit my channel and go through the videos that you might be interested in. Mindthatseekstruth.com is making it one step away to talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on Skype and discuss what's concerning you. I'll talk to you soon.